A message of hope from the Nonsense Mutations Foundation. Six reasons for optimism for patients with a genetic disease. If your child suffers from a genetic disorder, this video was made for you. Thanks to the burgeoning field of discovery research, new hopes are emerging with every passing day. New drugs are made to effectively treat and even cure genetic diseases. More than ever, new scientific breakthroughs are opening new paths for drug development. We want to share six reasons for optimism, which will help you remain positive during the process toward a cure. We left the best for last, so stay tuned. Number one, personalized medicines are already here. A breakthrough and truly historic event in the field of medicine is the introduction of patient-customized therapy for the treatment of rare genetic diseases. A little girl named Mila was diagnosed with a severe neurodegenerative genetic disorder. In the time between 2017 and 2018, a team of investigators at Harvard Medical School and Boston Children's Hospital designed a treatment with the goal to cure her based on antisense oligonucleotide, ASO, technology. Usually, a drug takes 12 years to get approved. However, in this case, it only took 10 months to go from idea to an injection. Remarkable! It was the first time a medicine was approved for just one patient, a new precedent set by the FDA. Approval was not enough. There was still the need to produce the medicine. But a drug company showed the willingness to synthesize the medicine only for Mila. Although the treatment resulted in signs of improvement over the course of one year with no serious adverse events, sadly, Mila passed away. Still, Mila and her family brought hope for families all over the world, carving a new path toward a cure. ASO technology has the potential to treat other neurodegenerative diseases. There are already a number of medicines based on ASO on the market. Given their success, there are now many more under development. The real reason for optimism here is not ASO, but the huge step taken by the regulators, approving the first personalized medicine. Reason for optimism number two, genetic medications to treat SMA. Meet Daria. She was born with a severe case of SMA type one. Spinal muscular atrophy, SMA, is a hereditary disease that destroys motor neurons progressively. Motor neurons are essential for skeletal muscle activities, such as speaking, swallowing, walking, and breathing. Until recently, most children with type 1 SMA died before their second birthday. After many years of research, in December 2016, Spinraza was the first approved treatment for SMA. Spinraza is an ASO-based medication that has the ability to suppress splice site mutations Remarkably, Spinraza not only improves disease symptoms, but also slows disease progression. Daria was treated with Spinraza, and she's already celebrated her fifth birthday. Prior to Spinraza, she couldn't move her arms, hold her head up, or sit without support. Look at her now! The resounding success of Spinraza exemplifies the value of genetic-based therapeutics, bringing researchers, clinicians, and parents to tears of joy. In 2019, Zolgensma, a second drug to treat SMA, reached the market. Zolgensma is based on a technology that delivers a correct copy of the patient's non-functioning gene directly to the damaged motor neurons. This is a one-time treatment that can cure the disease entirely. The ability to effectively deliver a functional copy of the gene is exciting and, in theory, applicable to all genetic diseases. Current methods of delivering a gene into the cells is limited to only small genes. However, cutting-edge technologies that stitch together pieces of RNA to form a functional messenger RNA can remove the size limitation. This and other approaches are opening up the possibility of therapeutics to a larger number of diseases that couldn't be treated before. Number 3. A simple medication that can cure genetic disorders. If you or someone you know carries a nonsense mutation, please listen closely. Have you ever imagined medications that are already in use, that every doctor can prescribe, can be used to treat genetic mutations? The popular antibiotic erythromycin has been used to treat bacterial infections for years. Recently, researchers in Israel have achieved a breakthrough for patients with nonsense mutations by using erythromycin. A nonsense mutation causes a premature stop codon to appear in the gene. 
causing the protein to end its translation earlier than expected, resulting in a truncated copy of the protein. Familial adenomatous polyposis is a genetic disorder caused by a mutation in the APC gene. If the disorder is not diagnosed and treated, the risk that a person will develop colorectal cancer increases dramatically. A clinical trial for patients with a nonsense mutation in the APC gene showed that erythromycin can successfully reduce their risk of getting cancer. Erythromycin has a read-through capacity that enables the cell's machinery to push through the nonsense mutation and keep on reading the entire length of the gene, resulting in a functional protein. Unlike the other treatments we've presented that have been employed in clinical trials for a specific gene, erythromycin does not target the APC gene, but targets the protein-building machines, making it a possible treatment for nonsense mutation patients working as a more general treatment. At the Nonsense Mutations Foundation, we work to broaden the usage of nonsense mutation medications across any genes. If this is your mutation type, be sure to join us. Number 4. Silencing a Defective Gene Defective genes can cause toxicity to the cell, leading to genetic disorders. Hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis, or HATTR, is a rare, severe, and multi-system condition affecting the nerves, heart, kidney, and eyes. This is a life-threatening disease, with death occurring, on average, within 10 years of diagnosis. It is caused by a mutation in the TTR gene, most commonly due to a specific missense mutation. This mutation causes a scenario called gain of function, which means that the protein harboring the mutation gains an undesired function that leads to the disorder. Onpatro is a medication that was generated specifically to target the TTR most common missense mutation. It uses a small interfering RNA technology, or siRNA, to silence the affected gene. By silencing only the defective gene copy, the medication reduces the number of defective proteins and prolongs patients' lives. For patients with gain-of-function genetic disorder, the success of this medication shows promise for similar targeted treatments. Number 5. Genetic Treatment for a Lung Cancer Not all cancer-related genes are created equally. About 25% of all lung cancers are caused by a mutation in the KRAS gene. This mutation causes a drug-resistant type of cancer that is very difficult to treat. Only recently have new medications emerged to which the mutated gene was not resistant. Under the FDA Fast Track, Sotorasib was approved and is now marketed under the name Lumacras. It targets a common missense mutation in the CRAS gene called G12C. How exciting is this? Let's take it from Professor Charles Swanton, Cancer Research UK's chief clinician. Sotorasib is one of the most exciting breakthroughs in lung cancer treatment in 20 years, targeting a cancer gene that was previously untargetable and built on decades of laboratory research that's unraveled cancer's inner workings. Unlike the other medications we've presented so far, the mechanism by which Sotorasib works is not based on gene therapy technology that can be used for other disorders. Rather, it is based on understanding how a specific missense mutation affects the function of the mutated protein. We assess that for many missense mutations, understanding the role of the mutation on the protein can form the basis of a cure. Number 6. Use of the first CRISPR medicine to cure blindness. We saved this gym for last. If you made it this far in our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to help us expand our reach. You might have heard about CRISPR, the technology that holds the key to changing our lives by reaching the holy grail of editing any gene that we choose, opening the door to treat all genetic disorders. While there is still a long road ahead of us, another big leap and major event in the history of medical science was introduced when the first CRISPR-based medicine was administered to patients. EDIT 101, which is still under a clinical trial by Editas Medicine, was created to cure patients suffering from an inherited form of blindness caused by mutations in the CEP290 gene. This CRISPR-Cas9-based drug is injected into the patient's eyes, targeting an RNA splice site mutation that results in a truncated and non-functional protein. By removing the damaged intron, EDIT 101 is expected to restore the production of full-length and functional protein. The use of EDIT 101 is in the midst of an ongoing trial, 
Initial results demonstrate that two out of five enrolled patients report a huge improvement in their vision and quality of life. It is still too early to guarantee the success of this medication. Nevertheless, we are excited about the first FDA-approved trial to inject CRISPR into patients. When it comes to gene editing technologies, the obstacles are not only technology, but also regulations and ethics. This trial is a giant step forward toward a day when we can cure all genetic disorders. Let's sum this up. These are only a few examples demonstrating the power of precision medicine today. This can also emphasize the importance of getting to know the specific mutation causing the genetic disorder. As more and more therapies are mutation-specific, deciphering the genetic mutation can open a window to new treatment options that can cure the disease. We truly hope that we have left you feeling uplifted. On this positive note, we wish you good health until the next time we have news. This video was produced by the Nonsense Mutation Foundation. If you or someone you know has this type of mutation, we invite you to join us.